Hi, this is Elizabeth with Southern Embellishment, and I'm back with another altered file folder. Debbie from Ephemeris Vintage Garden has me hooked on these. I'm addicted. I've always, as I said before in a previous video, I've always loved the decorative file folders. I've purchased them for years and used them. I'm a speaker, so I like to put my notes in them. And when I saw the tutorial by uh, Debbie, I just fell in love with the idea of making the altered file folder journals and so I have been going crazy making these things. I love them. They're great. They're easy to make. You can get them done in just a few short hours. Um, three or four hours you could have one done and um, I just love them. I think they're great. This is the Cavallini um, file folder with the butterflies on it as you can see. You didn't need me to tell you that I'm sure. And um, it has the, I use the elastic closure, like she showed in one of hers, and just put, punched the holes, measured, and put them in there, and then tied the elastic. This is the same elastic like I use for my faux dories. I think it's two, two millimeters, something like that. And then I was going through my stash and uh, to see what I could find to decorate this little piece of elastic up and I actually I've had this for a while so I was so glad that I found a place to use it and I tied a knot on it so it would um, stay put on the elastic but it's a butterfly metal butterfly hope you can see that and of course I love turquoise and aqua and so anything that has that on there catches my eye it's got little beads got a little, I'm sorry, a little silver flower, a little uh, dragonfly, I don't know if you can see that or not, maybe if I could hang on to it long enough you could see it, a little dragonfly there, and so here we've got a little tiny flower with a, yeah, I thought I had a little crystal in the middle, but it don't, it's just a little flower. And so I was so glad to find that in my stash and be able to use it. The colors match the colors and the butterflies perfectly. So I loved it. It's a perfect match. And you've heard me say this before and in previous videos too. You'll find um, I was inspired by Debbie for this. And I, I bound it with a pamphlet stitch and used embroidery thread. I just used the turquoise embroidery thread for an accent. Um, but you also heard me talk about Denise with Tattered Dreams, how she, she's she been such an inspiration to me. And um, I love the way she just adds the special touches to her papers. And so I have taken some of her inspiration from her and I've used her ideas. And thank you, Debbie. And you need to visit her shop and visit her uh, YouTube. It's Denise. I said Debbie. I'm sorry, Denise. Debbie inspired me with the folder idea. Denise inspired me with some of the um, decorations on the pages. So visit both of them. They have great tutorials they, and if you get a chance to get either one of them, if you get the chance to purchase something from them, go ahead because it's just beautiful. Um, in here, again, the file folders are six. You cut the top off to make it nine inches this way which Debbie will tell you in her tutorial. And then I took my scoreboard and scored six inches. I scored and then folded that and, and I didn't cut anything. I just took that and made the flap so it's got the little file folder which is, just gives it a nice little dimensional look there. And um, But it, it's just a lot of room. As you can see, just a lot of room that way. and. You can put a lot of photos this way. I just have a few tags on this one. And you can find these on my uh, Etsy shop and my web page. And then I took some decorative paper and just folded it. Use this photo mat or journaling if you want. Uh, grunged up a couple tags with some stamps on a little butterfly and bicycles. I love butterflies and bicycles. Anytime I can add them to my stuff, I do because I love them. And then this is the Tim Holtz Hope die. I actually got this on clearance at um, Joanne's. I've had it for the longest time. And I got it out the other day and decided to play around with it. And I fell in love with it. I really love it. I wish I had uh, purchased more. They had a few other words. And I wish I would have 
got them all because I just love it. And again, I use the till. I love till. This is a damask piece of paper. And then I used, um, I believe this is Broken China, the, the stain, the Distress Stain by Tim Holtz. And then I, if you can see the shimmer there, I sprayed it with Perfect Pearls Mist spray. And then this is one of the inspirations from Denise. I use the banners. And you can, you know, you can slide little things under them if you want. But I just love the decorations of them. And I thought I kept it with the same thing. So many colors you can pull out. There's just the butterflies on this Cavallini folder. It's so beautiful. You can pull out so many colors. All the papers are uh, tea dyed. And I believe I may have something on every page in this book, in this file folder. I'll have to look. But um, here I just used my one and a half inch Fisker's punch and took Tim Holt's little letters, little black letters, and I wrote the word or put on there the word trust. And then the little butterfly. I think you'll see later on. I'm not sure if it's in this file folder or not, but I have a little butterfly punch that I use for some of the pages, and I took the butterfly scraps that come out and just painted them up and put them on there and added a little bit some fibers on there this little scroll stamp here flourish i have a set of those different sizes and i just absolutely love them and then here is another banner it says inspired i just wrote that on there and has a black back pearls this with this little piece of uh like webbing but it's it's like a spool of ribbon and I believe I wrapped that around yeah and this side says be strong and then I just took my marker and made it uh, look like stitching I did the faux stitching on it and on this side I did the paper clip um, banners which are so much fun to make and of course this was a, a card out of a stash and then I took the Tim Holtz letters and just put up their thoughts but I, I love these um, paper clip banners and of course when it's on the let me do it like this so you can see how it's done when it's on this side of the page you see this one and it's got the fiber in it and it's got the little flat back pearl looking uh, decorative that I got off of a Etsy shop out of an Etsy shop and then um, I just wrote the word faith on there. And then when you flip the page, this would be this is actually on the page. When you flip it, um, I put the little web ribbon under there, the little heart, and took these are just pieces of scrap paper. Save your scrap paper because they come in handy as you know. Uh, and they make comes in really handy for the banners. Put that on in a minute. Here is where the little butterflies came out of. I took and cut a paper sack, uh, like a lunch sack and uh, put butterflies and it says just when the caterpillar thought the world was over it became a butterfly and I stamp butterflies and then that quote and then the little as you can see I just punched the little butterflies out and then I save those and use them throughout the book and this says in the journey it's the journey that matters most and that's a stamp I and here is the size of that ribbon. It's on a spool like a ribbon, but it's like a uh, like a netting type thing. And these are just some journaling journaling places there. Let me get this out of there. I'll put it back in later. And then this is uh, Tim Holtz on the Edge Doily Die, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. And there's that damask paper in pink and a couple journaling tags, beauty and one of a kind butterflies. And of course, you put a lot more in the, each of these pockets. You can put a lot more ephemera in or photos, whatever. And here is uh, a piece of decorative paper in the teal. And then I took the... Um, this is another, this is a, um, I believe it's a Fiskars on the Edge paper die, or paper, uh, not a die, I'm sorry, paper punch. And I will bring that up so you can hopefully see. It's just such a beautiful 
leaves and flowers. It's very lace, lacy looking. And I sprayed the um, Perfect Pearls mist on the back to make it shimmery. Here is the other, um, here is paper sack also, the other part of the paper bag that I cut up and used as pages. And I just did a corner punch there and then took the decorative paper and brunched up a little bit and used my one and a half inch scalloped punch. And then here is the parchment paper. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or online. And it is authentic parchment paper. I love the feel of it, the texture of it. I love writing on it. And again, I use the butterfly punch and punch that. This is just, you'll see the other piece of this. It's a little bit longer on the other side. And I just put a little, um, took the graph index cards and uh, that I coffee dye, just keep them on hand and cut a little heart for that. And grunge it up a little bit and then spray the perfect pearls. This is a piece of the, um, I talked about that before. The middle part is, uh, this is the middle of the book. It's the one signature book. Um, but this is the cardstock that I talked about taking and putting in balsamic vinegar and baking it in the oven. And it gives it such a smooth, leathery feel to it. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now on this one, one side got darker, a lot darker than the other side, which was different, but they both have the same feel to it. This is kind of like one of those imperfect, perfect imperfections. I, uh, if you can see it there, I stamped, I did a stamp of a bicycle with a basket of flowers, and um, then I was embossing it, and the gun got a little hot, or the heat gun got too close, and so you can see a little grungy spot there. We'll call it grunge. Actually, it's a little burn spot. And so I thought, oh, I don't want to take this paper out. I don't want to have to redo this. So I just made a frame around it, and it's got, I did the UD over it, so it's shiny. It just kind of looks, it just kind of looks grungy and old, and so I thought, I'll leave it. It's, it, it's fine. It'll be fine. And uh, everybody that's seen it loves it. I'm like, it's really a mistake, but they seem to like it pretty much, so I'm glad I left it in there. And then we go to the other side. Now here is the other piece of that. Here's that folds out piece of that paper, and I put the shimmery on there and uh, grunged it up. And then this butterfly came out. I had actually cut it from another paper that I was working on, paper pack, and I had put um, glossy accents on it, if you can see that. Uh, the glossy accents and so it's very sturdy and I, I kind of bent it into make it look like there was some movement there. I'm not sure you can see that on the tape but I put that in there. I like that. I had it for another project but when I was working on this I thought no it goes there better so I'll use it. There's the other parchment paper, the paper sack, more of the, this is the other side. This is another on the edge doily die with uh, Home is Where the Heart Is, and I took another one of these papers and folded it and put it in there. This is the other side of the paper sack, and it's got ephemera in it. And this was the, the scraps from when I cut the paper doily. Uh, this, these corners were from the sides here and I thought man I can know I can use that for something and so I just turned the page I thought aha uh -huh, I can use them for tuck spots and so each the top and bottom I put it on the top and bottom it looks great even without ephemera in it and that's how they look I just used it for the top and bottom there so that's the scraps off the dolly see you don't get rid of your scraps you can always use them for something and I use those for that and I think they are very pretty. I like it. I'm glad I thought of that. Another banner. Um, I just put them over the top there, looped them over the top. Another heart. And then the one and a half inch punch. Grunged up there. 
And then here's another little uh, banner paper clip. I use a turquoise paper clip. Made a little banner and put three little flat backs. They look like little, uh, just like little jewel dots, but they're flat back. This is Cherish. And then this again, I use this the Broken China Distress Stain and then put the Perfect Pearls on it. That's the other side of the signature and the other pocket. And I believe there are, let's see how many pages are in this file folder. Uh, it really holds a lot, but it, yet it's compact to carry around with you. makes it nice. So, there's 26 if you just take the front and back. But if you take the front and back, that would give you uh, 52 pages, right? Yeah, 52 pages, or 32 pages, I'm sorry. So, a lot in there. Takes up a little space. Now, when you fill it, there's just so much. This elastic will stretch. And, um... Fix the elastic here. It slides down a little bit sometimes, but the elastic will stretch to um, so you can expand on what you put in it, and you have a lot of room for expansion. That elastic will go a long way. So you got a lot of room to put a lot of memories, a lot of photos. This is Cavallini file altered file folders. You can find it again on my Etsy shop or my SouthernBellishment.com website. Have a great day. Bye-bye.